What's up everyone, today I have for you the ultimate portable vlogging kit. Just look at this compared to my full frame camera bag, it's tiny. You know, I can just chunk this in my everyday carry bag and nobody will ask me if I'm happy to see them. So now you might be wondering, if it's so small, does it pack a punch? Don't worry, I'm Asian, I know how to handle small things. So let's watch this video montage and check it out for yourself. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place Oh shit, I didn't lock my door. As you can see, even though this is a pretty small package, it does pack quite a punch. So, okay, so now that we're back to somewhere with a more consistent lighting, but uh, I think there's a... What is my rabbit doing? This is the PGY Tech Action Camera Case, and everything I feature here will have links in the description below, if I can find them on Amazon. So yeah, this is the tiny case that we're talking about, really small, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so first of all, the Sony ZV-1. You guys saw for yourself what this tiny little camera can do. All right, so I got this used at about $500. And if you can, you really should get this used because it's like two years old now. I think it's released in 2020. So I'm pretty sure quite a lot of people are like selling this because like they're not gonna travel and stuff. But don't be fooled, just because people are selling this doesn't mean that it's a bad camera. It's really awesome. Just an all around really good pocket camera. Even though I have a full frame camera with me now, like the one I'm shooting on right now, I carry this around with me a lot. Like a lot more than a full frame definitely. Because it's so small, it's light. Sometimes I just bring this out like by itself, put it in my pocket or in my bag. Okay, I'm not supposed to. Okay, yeah, so look at this. I'm just gonna put this in my bag and it's so small. Yeah. Anyways, I don't really know what I'm talking about when it comes to cameras. So go and look up videos on why this is the best compact camera of all time. Okay, not of all time, but for vlogging, definitely. The best vlogging compact camera, for sure. Next up is this really awesome DJI mic system. It's wireless and it comes with two mics. So one I'm using right now and the other one is just here. You know, it's great for conducting interviews or if you want stereo sound. I don't really know I'm, how I'm supposed to show you the receiver. Oh, hang on. I can because I can just turn on the recording system on this mic and plug out the receiver on my camera. Give me a moment. And this is the receiver. It's tiny and it has a hot shoe mount which goes on top of whatever camera you're using. Or you can use the included USB or lightning connectors and connect this straight to your phone without having the need to plug in a 3.5 millimeter jack. It's amazing, all right? This is the DJI mic and it's newly released. It costs a few hundred dollars, but in all honesty, it's really worth it. Because, okay, just look at this. I'm 
recording right now without having this receiver plugged in to my camera. It's awesome. So sometimes you can just walk out with the Sony ZV-1 and just this receiver alone. And yeah, you can do so many things. I'm gonna, okay, I'm just not gonna shoot at f2.8 anymore. Everything is out of focus. Um, let's try the mic quality of the DJI mic. Can you hear me well? Um, the plane is idling at the back. The engine is really loud. So yeah, this is what the lapel mic is for, right? It's wireless and it's really, really convenient. Now I do not have the mic on me and I'm speaking about the same volume as I did just now with the DJI mic. Is this any better? I don't think so, but how much worse is it? Next up, we have the PGY Tech selfie stick. Um, I like this one because it can be a tabletop stand and you know collapse into a normal selfie stick if you want. And also you can extend it for extra reach. Pretty cool. As you can see, this was supposed to be for a GoPro, but I've used this accessory here to convert it from a GoPro mount to a standard camera quarter thread mount. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, the normal screw thing that comes with every camera. There's also another Yulanzi selfie stick tripod that you can look into. Um, some might prefer that one because it has a ball mount, so you can kind of tilt it wherever you want after you set it down at an angle. Uh, this one only has, because of the GoPro mount, articulating back and forth. So yeah, speaking of Yulanzi, brings us to the next accessory. This is the Yulanzi rechargeable light thing. What this is, is a battery powered light that is rechargeable via USB-C. Alright, so you just turn it on from the back and there's a, quite a few buttons on the back that will allow you to adjust the color temperature and also give you like RGB. So now it's blue and you can slowly change the hue of the colors using the buttons on the back. So yeah, you can pair this with your ZV-1, put it in the hot shoe mount and now you got yourself a vlogging light. Pretty good because the ZV-1 does not really have the best low light performance and if you want to vlog at night, you might need this to illuminate yourself. Also, it has three cold shoe mounts on the side here, here and here for you to plug in things like the DJI mic. So those were the essential things in this kit which now brings us to the less essential things. First off is spare batteries for the Sony ZV-1. The ZV-1 does not have the best battery life in the world so I carry around four. Uh, I think four is a little overkill but just came as a set. But yeah, a lot of rechargeable batteries so that you can just swap them out when your battery is dead. Then we have the battery charger. This one is pretty cool because the cable is built right in and I can just plug this into my portable charger that I carry around with me all the time. Or if you prefer, you can use USB Type-C or micro USB. So this is how I pack it all on one side of the case. These little dividers here come with the vlogging kit and they stick on with Velcro. So now let's move on to the other side, which carries all the little accessory things. I have three SD cards over here in case you know I run out of storage on one of my SD cards. Then all the necessary cables. What I have here is the dummy battery for the ZV-1. Okay, so this goes into USB power. Oh no, wait, hang on. So yeah, this goes into USB and yeah, it just provides unlimited power to your US to your ZV-1 uh, if you want to shoot like long form videos. Then we have micro USB cables because the Sony ZV-1 unfortunately does not come with USB-C. <sighs> I love USB-C but oh well, maybe for the ZV-2 Sony will change the thing. There is also this USB-C cable for everything else in the kit like the DJI mic or the light. Lastly, we have a bunch of dead cats for the DJI mic and also the Sony ZV-1. 
which goes into the hot shoe like so Ta -da! so there you have it the ultimate portable vlogging kit this has been one hell of a video to shoot with the screaming neighbors and whatnot and now i have to edit this video oh so please if you haven't already subscribed to this channel i have a lot more content lined up for you guys so yeah thanks for watching have a nice day don't forget to subscribe